The Spectre Oscillator in Halion 7 features a newly designed time-stretching and resynthesis algorithm allowing you to create sounds like never before. Let me show you. I'm going to start with a very simple example so that you can hear the sheer quality of the algorithm in the Spectre Oscillator. So I have this loop here and I've dropped this into my spectral synth layer in Halion 7. Now I can immediately play this on the keyboard, of course. Now I'm going to change the speed and I want you to listen carefully to the transients. So as you can hear, the transients are clear, the low end is right there, assertive and full, and the magic behind all this is the new algorithm. If I go to my analysis page, you will see that we have the transient detection option and the phase lock options here. So if I turn them off, you will see how big of a difference this will make to the sound. And I'm going to slow it down quite a bit. Have a listen. And now you can hear that the transients are not defined, they're quite blurry, which is what normally happens when you slow down an audio file. But check if I activate the transient and face lock again. So everything is more defined, the transients are crisp, the low end is right there. And of course, I've slowed this down quite a bit. So the original was like this. And I've went to... So the quality of the time stretching is incredible. Now, the other thing that you can do with the Spectre Oscillator is you can use quite a few controls like the purity, the inharmonicity, and also the foreman. And this gives you a lot of sound design power. So let me play with the purity a little bit. and with the format. So you can start creating unique sounds out of any sample. Now I'm going to show you another example with a pitched sound this time. I have this guitar sample. And I've dropped this into my spectral synth layer and this is how it sounds. Exactly the same. And now check out the pitch shifting qualities of the algorithm of the Spectre Oscillator. So the quality is pristine. All the characteristics of the sound are retained. So I can immediately create a playable instrument out of this single sample. And now if I play with the purity a little bit, you will see that I can create these really nice dynamic layers. So now if I want to, I can assign the purity, let's say, to my velocity. So I'm going to use a new modulation system in Halion 7, and I'm going to go here and select Note on Velocity. And in this case, I want to start with something like this very, you know, kind of soft and maybe I want to just make it a little bit sharper if I play harder on my keyboard. So you see how much control I have over the spectral characteristics of this sample. And this is all possible because of the Spectro Oscillator engine. Now, of course, I can play with the format if I want to again. And of course, you can modulate this with LFOs. You can do whatever you want. I can activate the multi-oscillator mode. So I can create incredible sounds, again, from one single sample. So now what I've done is I added a little bit of reverb and I'm going to show you the next page that we have here, which is the filter page. And this is, again, a very powerful tool when you want to do sound design. So I can activate the filter and as you can see, I can have different points. I can keep adding different points if I want to. Mm -hmm. 
so I can really shape the sound exactly like I want. And of course, we have already pre-made presets for the filter, so if you want to add like a vowel kind of filter, you can do this straight away. Now, the other cool thing that you can do is you can, of course, modulate the filter shift, and that's what I've done here. If I click on this, you will see that I'm modulating this with my LFO1, and this gives me a really nice animating sound. Another amazing feature of the Spectre Oscillator is that now we have the acceleration and target speed controls, which means maybe I want to have the sample play in its original speed when we have the transient portion right here, and it's very easy to see with this new FFT view here, and then we can have a target speed. So maybe I want to start with a normal speed and accelerate, and then maybe I want to have a slower speed at the end of the sample. So let's go like this. And if I want, I can even freeze the last spectrum. Or I can have it go very, very slow. So you can take a sample that's relatively short and really make it last forever if you want to. And of course, if I want to right now, I can modulate the foreman, for example. Maybe I want to add the LFO1 to the foreman. It's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy the Spectre Oscillator in Halion 7 and have fun creating your own sounds.